Hi everyone. Today we are uh, seeing a demonstration session. And Sarath, you are having a bike, right? Yes. How much CC it is? 400. 400 CC. So it will be having very high speed. And the human beings are generally designed for walking and running. And if you are using high speed movements, we have to have protection for that. We will be using helmets for such conditions, right? Similarly, our trade work also requiring lot of safety equipments. Today we will be seeing that items and we will be demonstrating how to use those safety equipments. In this demonstration, we will be focusing on main four points. It is structural and mechanical safety, electrical safety, fire safety, occupational health and safety. Trainees, uh, we are having PPE with us, personal protective equipments. As stated in the four categories, we are having different types of PPEs. We are going to see one by one and use them now. So we are having electrical safety gloves with us now, which is preventing the electrical shock. This is the 11 kV rated electric gloves. When we are measuring the uh, voltage and uh, current everything from panels, we should be using this sort of gloves. So let us see how we will be able to use this item. We will have to wear like this and whatever may be the electrical equipments, we will be holding like this during the measurement of electrical voltages or power, whatever it may be. The next item it is industrial grade safety shoes. It has both electrical and mechanical safety features. You can see when you are going through the uh, floor, shop floor or work area, there may be nails or other projections. We, we should not be having cut on our toes or the feet. So the bottom part will be so strong, it will not be getting damaged and it will be preventing us from any uh, nails uh, cuts. And the top part also it is very strong so that our feet will be very properly protected. So this is industrial grade safety shoes. Wherever we are going to the shop floor or in the work area, we should be mandately wearing this item. For the protection of eyes, we should be using goggles. For the general work like structure fixing and all, we will be doing uh, drilling or grinding activities so that the chipping may be coming to our eyes. So it has to be properly protected. This is a strong glass so that any such material will not be coming to our eyes and eyes will be protected. Okay, so like this we will have to wear the glass, goggles like this. In the general eye protection for grinding and chipping, we have used this goggle and for solar related works, there will be UV rays and we have to stand in the very uh, day sunlight and it has to be protecting the UV light also. For that, this sort of sunglasses with protection, mechanical protection will be used during uh, operation of solar panels. We have some PPE, personal protective equipment for the head protection. So this item, it is a hard hat. You will be seeing the color as yellow. This is protecting from falling objects as well as the electrical voltage also will be given. So it is giving both mechanical as well as electrical protection. This have adjustment of chin strap and it has adjustment of the tension so that helmet is properly fitted on that. Strap has to be properly fitted so that it is not moving and we have to adjust the back side so that it is perfectly fit to onto our head. <laughs> During the work, there may be different types of noises coming during drilling, during uh, other mechanical aspects. For that reason, we have to control our noise. For that, we are having disposable earbuds. This is a string like this and we can keep these two buds. How to fix that? We have to slightly roll this item so that the shape will be less and we have to keep it inside the ear. After that, it will be automatically becoming bigger and it will be fitting to that item. Similarly, in the other ear also, we will be putting like this and it will be perfectly fit so that it is not coming out. For the next item, it is safety apron. If you are working with the structure work or the other mechanical work, there may be a lot of foreign materials which is chipped away, we may be reaching to our body and may be making cuts. 
to prevent that item we will have to use this sort of uh, aprons when we are working with mechanical structures like uh, fixing of that item chipping grinding or item me mechanical grinding pieces may be coming to our head uh, body and it may be getting cut to prevent that item such sort of aprons can be used this is the way we have to use this apron <laughs> During the work, we should be able to work at heights. What is the problem? We may fall down and it may lead to injuries. To prevent fall from heights, we, should, we are having a safety harness equipment. Safety harness belt, we will be seeing. This is a class A safety harness belt. You will be able to see the serial number printed onto this belt. And there are different buckles you have to see the proper arrangement of that it is a class a item and it is suitable for 1.8 meters height we are going to see the demo, uh, usage of this uh, safety harness belt like this we will have to use as a item so that you will be able to see protection against chest is available this is the correct method in case of fall it will be going up so it should not be very upper part which should be available for the legs protection it has to be taken like this and it has to be buckled it should be properly tied that your hand can be freely inserted like this and it should be not over tight, not over loose like this. In both sides, the hand should be going like this. This is the safety lock mechanism. This has to be hanged to a particular location so that it will be correctly uh, hanged there. How it is opened, we cannot directly push it and open. There is a mechanism, it is interlocking. When this is pressed only, we will be able to open this item. Otherwise, if you are pushing, it will not be opened. This is a safety mechanism so that unintentionally it will not be opened. <laughs> With working in high temperatures or more temperature with body we cannot touch, we can use this leather gloves like this. So we can hold the hot items also like structures of solar panels everything. If it is hot, this will be protecting us from the heat condition. We are using ladders for work with a higher state. So in that condition, we should be properly engaged the safety mechanism on this ladder and one person should be holding this item. If one person is working on that, it is ensuring that one person is uh, holding the other end of this item and on using this ladder, minimum three touching should be there, either two feet and one hand, otherwise two hands and one feet. Three items should be always in touch with the ladder. While using the straight ladder, it should be one for the height should be de, uh, away from the wall. Suppose if the height is 12 feet, we should be putting a 3 feet distance from the bottom part. Then it will be having a proper angle. Otherwise, it will be very high steep. Then we may fall back. If it is too shallow, we may the uh, ladder may fall down. And we have to, one person has to hold the ladder. Then we can climb like this, one, two hands uh, together and one feet at a time. So minimum three numbers are available and we can step in. And while descending also, we should be facing this side only. Otherwise, we may be able to fall. <music> while working in a uh, shop floor or in sites, visibility of persons are required. Like cranes are moving and heads of people may be injured due to that. So visibility of person has to be ensured. For that, an equipment is there. It is re reflective jacket. This will be giving more visibility for the operators so that no hard hitting will be happened between persons or between man and machinery. So this is the way we have to wear the anti-reflective jacket like this. While lifting weight, we should be very careful. It may create pains to our back pain, back side. So it will be creating back pain. To avoid back pain, there is a method of lifting. We will be seeing that. Let us see. We have to hold like this panel and up to the hip part we have to lift. And after the hip part then we can lift like given pressure. So the pain will be less. While lowering also the same method has to be adopted. 
it will be lifting up to the head part like this and then it will be placed back. I am trying to explain the wrong method of lifting. If there is a weight and if you are trying to hold like this and lift, this pressure is directly affecting our hip. This will be creating back pain. The back pain may be lasting for more weeks. It is a threat for us. So like that we should not lift. Fire may be there occurring in the labs or our work situation conditions. So to prevent the fire, we are having fire extinguishers. There are different type of fire extinguishers as studied in the theory session. This fire extinguisher is CO2, carbon dioxide, which is having black label, which will be easily identifiable. Also, there is mentioning the which fires it will be able to be used. It is for B type fire and C type fire, it will be directly able to use. And the operation of any fire extinguisher, the word pass we will be able to remember, P-A-S-S. -S. P means pull the pin. There is a safety pin that will be pulled away, P. And uh, A, it is the aiming this the particular item, horn, wherever the fire is available, to the bottom of fire, we will be aiming this item and we have to open this valve. It is known as skews, actually skews for other type of valve. Here opening the valve, it is available and we have to sweep this carbon dioxide to the base of fire. To the base of fire where it is, we have to exactly point to the base of fire so that the fire will be extinguished. The four names are again I am telling. P-A-S-S, pull the pin first, aim the nozzle and skews operation stands for the operation of opening of the valve and sweep against the fire, this one as pass. Different jobs or occupations will be having their own difficulties in the field. Like in solar field, if you are working in the very hot sun, we will be getting dehydrated. So we have to ensure that we are taking plenty of water and we are not having any dehydration problem. Dehydration, especially very high heights, may lead for the fall and other safety injuries. So please ensure that you are properly getting hydrated. Disconnecting and checking the voltage during a day, day time, it is posing a safety problem uh, in the operation because the solar panel is already getting sunlight, it is already powered. So if you are trying to open the uh, connections, there may be so safety issues, may, may be getting electric shock. For that, we will have to use the safety gloves as well as safety shoes. Both are electrically protecting us. Now, if you want to do it in a sunlight, you should be mandatorily wearing the gloves as well as safety shoes. And you can un uh, dismantle the connections. We have to make different solar panels properly connected through conductors. This is known as grounding and bonding. The zero potential has to be ensured between all these solar panels. Like this, the entire solar panels connected here will be having equipotential conditions. This will be ensuring zero potential each other and the equipment's long life. This is the lightning arrestor of the solar panel installation system. During installation, we have to properly make it connected and tight. This is giving the safety aspect. And during the periodic ins inspection also, it should be ensured that it is properly tight and the entire Continuity conductor has been properly connected to the earth in the proper condition. During the period in periodical inspection, we may be seeing that the water is collected inside the channel and it is getting rested. This poses a safety issue for the person operating that. It may be getting septic due to the bacteria. We may be getting some uh, health issues as well as the life of the entire structure may be reduced. So it has to be properly taken care. In solar installation, signages are very important for safety. The DC produced is very low voltage and it will be having high current. Because of the high power, the person touching that will be getting high electrocution and it will lead to health issues or safety issues. So that signages are properly given the system, live DC wire, like this. Also, a plant will be getting main electricity board AC as well as solar panel uh, DC output and inverter AC. So put together, we should be separately install, showing a sticker that the supply will be available from the both the sides so that the operating person should be having a false feeling that only switching of one item will be giving a safety. So this sticker is important for such installations. Surge protection device, it is an important safety device. You can see this has already been operated and it has been not active like this already smoke or it has been coming. Now this has to be replaced for the continuous safety of the system. Safety signages gives a clear instruction for the operating personnel regarding the safety concerns. 
now this is a dc box there is a specifically given as danger now if some person is operating this item when it's a dead time the solar panels will be actually producing the power so the operating person has to be careful on that while taking a repairs or this item the safety for inverter condition is it isolation for ac and dc sides this is a dc side this is ac side both has to be isolated properly then only we will be able to make, take up the repairs of the item as operating person will be getting this safety notice this is an ac db if you are switching off this also the supply from the grid will be available the operating person should be vigilant on that case for that this safety slogan has safety point has been indicated loto l o t o it is a safety procedure where we want to open the panel and do some work if some per, uh, person operates this item uh, switch off this item and going for other work some extra persons may come here and make it on that will cause a danger to avoid such condition what we should do we should switch off this item keep the door closed put a padlock on that and keep a tag so by keeping the uh, padlock as well as the tag nobody else will directly come and switch on this will do not cause any safety issues this system is known as loto that is lock lockout tag out for the safety to be exactly safely handled the pro documentation also should be proper in the organization so that the single line diagram and the control switches where it is available and what are the main supply available other than electricity board how many solar plants are installed every details has to be available in the documentation so that every new technician coming to the installation or working newly will be able to correctly know the safety aspect of the building in this demonstration we have gone through the structural and mechanical safety aspects electrical safety aspects fire safety aspects and occupational health and safety aspects this comprises our today's demonstration part